Hello everyone, I hope my previous tutorials here has shown you some new effects you can apply to your editing. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Saber plugin within After Effects. Before we get started, you're going to want to download this free plugin. The link will be in the description below and it's available for PC and Mac. Go ahead and open up After Effects and throw in your clip that you want to edit. For this specific tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this effect on a wheel, but keep in mind you can do this to anything, you can draw anything and apply this plugin to whatever you draw with the pen tool or any sort of tool in After Effects. First things first, go ahead and select your ellipse tool and we'll use this to get the general shape of the wheel. If you notice a cutout in yours, go to the mask and hit none. Select the pen tool and now you can fine tune your points within that circle. Once that's done, go over to your tracker, make sure it's on position, scale, and rotation, and press play. This will now take what we traced out and track it to any given object near it. Once that's done, go ahead and go to Effects and type in Saber. This is the plugin that you just downloaded. Go over to Presets, and there's a bunch of different effects you can apply here, but for this one, it's Patronus. You also have full capability of changing any color within the Saber itself. Go to Customize Core drop-down menu, Core Type, and hit Layer Masks. Next, Render Settings, scroll down, and change this to Add. That will get rid of the black background. Now, your clip should look something like this. I'd say we should add some movement in it by adding some keyframes to it. Go to the drop-down and go to Custom Core, you're going to want to find Start Offset. Drag it all the way to 100% and you'll see our saber start to disappear. Now let's keyframe it at the first frame and go down our timeline a bit. Add another keyframe and drag it all the way down to 0. And now you start to see an animation of it going from 0 to 100%. Now I'm basically going to animate it out as soon as the camera starts to pan out of the wheel. So I'm going to do scroll down the timeline, add another keyframe for end offset, do the same thing but reverse. And I actually have a feeling if we copy the first keyframe on the end offset and uh, we drag down the timeline a little bit and we paste it, I think it might be a little bit cleaner here, let's see. Keep in mind, the order of these keyframes work with my clip, they may not work with yours, so just experiment, play around with the keyframes, and see what works best with your footage. There's so many different options with this plugin, so I recommend you guys look around at yourself and see what you like best. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I was able to teach you something new today. If you've gained any knowledge from my videos, I would greatly appreciate a like or a comment. It helps my small channel out tremendously. Thanks. Peace.